Hi, I'm Eleanor Prater and I'm the Marketing Manager for the Augusta Convention and Visitors Bureau and today I'll be reading Rosie the Dragon and Charlie Say Goodnight by Lauren Kirstein. And it starts with Zippy Wahoo! Rosie the Super Dragon saves the world. Oh hi, I didn't see you there. I'm Charlie. This is Rosie, my pet dragon. We're playing superheroes today. Yikes, Rosie. I can see your tonsils when you yawn. It's time for bed. <sighs> Fine, two more minutes, but that's it. Rosie, no. Leave that timer alone sitting beside the bed. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, time's up, Rosie. Let's get ready for bed. Bedtime has been a bit challenging to lately, says Charlie. So tonight I'm prepared. Bedtime will be a dream. I check my list and gather my supplies and I check it twice. Come on, Rosie, let's fill a water bottle. Rosie has always been burning need for a beverage. The second we say goodnight, she has to have a drink. Rosie, snot, stop sneaking juice into your water. Hey Rosie, where's Vern? Vern is Rosie's favorite stuffed animal. Every night he magically disappears before bed. We search under the chair, under the table, in the closet. We search, we search, we search, and aha, we find him tucked away in a boot. We collect a few other essential supplies. You know what, Rosie? Let's grab the fire extinguisher, just in case. Rosie clutches Vern, her favorite stuffed animal, and gallops to her room. Okay, Rosie, help me write our bedtime schedule. Bedtime rule number one, gather supplies. Don't forget the fire extinguisher. Bedtime rule number two, bath time. Remember, water belongs in the tub. Bath, bedtime rule number three, pajamas, 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 and cool pajamas only. We don't want any fiery eruptions. Bedtime rule number four, I'll grab my raincoat because it's time to brush your teeth. Bedtime rule number five, read because books are the best. And bedtime rule number six, lights out. Vern will be right there with you the entire night. Splash! Wow, good thing I grabbed these extra towels. I add Rosie's favorite night toy and a cup of bubble bath. No, Rosie, Vern does not want to swim. The teddy bear cannot go in the tub. She snorts and plunges Vern into the water. Rosie adds lots of toys and way more bubble bath than she needs. Rosie, that's too much. We race through bathing before the bubbles hit the ceiling and flood the entire floor. Rosie, it's time to get out of the tub now, says Charlie. Zoom! Rosie, wait! See, Rosie, doesn't it feel good to dry off? Speaking of dry, did you notice Rosie's shedding scales? She needs lotion, and I need a vacuum as well. I rub the lotion all on Charlie. Rosie rubs lotion on Vern. Yuck. Okay, Rosie, it's pajama time. I steer Rosie away from footy pajamas since it's not that cold outside, but she yanks out a colorful pair plus a matching pair for Vern, as always. Um, Rosie, you'll overheat. Find something else. Rosie pretends she doesn't hear me. Thankfully, I'm prepared with a fan. Last week when she wore footy pajamas to a sleepover, it was a hot mess. Uh-oh, the fan isn't working. Let's splash cold water on your face now because she's overheated from those footy pajamas. I race Rosie to the bathroom. She splashes water, but smoke swirls, sparks fly, flames flare. I aim the fire extinguisher and spray all over Rosie. 
much, much better. Okay, Rosie, it's time to brush your teeth. I pull on my raincoat. Remember, you just need a small amount of toothpaste. Rosie loves brushing her pearly whites. She scrubs every single tooth twice. I think our, I think our teeth are clean now. It's time to read our book. I help Rosie select a few books. No Ferocious Nights is not a comforting bedtime story. Let's pick another one. Next, Rosie turns on her night lights, all of them. Finally, we snuggle together to read. You know what, Rosie? I think it's time to say goodnight. Sparks shoot, claws clench, teeth clatter, wait! I quickly calm her down. I know it's dark outside, but you have your night lights. Vern will keep you company. Of course you can cuddle with my shirt while you sleep. I just need to wait. Yikes! Grab a robe! You've got this, Rosie. Ready? Rosie hugs Vern and a few stuffed animal friends and closes her eyes. Terrific! Now I can relax. Rosie is sleeping. I slide into the tub for a nice hot bath until rumble, rumble, rumble. Oh no, Rosie is petrified of thunderstorms. I hop out and bolt to the bedroom. Flash, crackle, shriek. Rosie peeks out of her tent panting. Here, Rosie, wear these while you cuddle with Uh-oh, where did Vern go? Where is Vern? We search under the blanket. We search in her drawers. We search in the treasure trove. Hooray, finally, we find Vern tucked underneath Rosie's pillow. Rosie, Vern, and I lie together as the rumbling turns to grumbling and the storm finally fades away. Sweet dreams, Rosie, sweet dreams, Vern, and sweet dreams, Charlie. And that was Rosie the Dragon and Charlie Say Goodnight by Laura Kirstein. Thank you for reading. I've had so much fun reading about Rosie, her fear of thunderstorms, and Charlie putting her to bed. This has been an awesome time. Thank you for having me.